This is your boy T Diddy from None So Strong. Let y'all see it. And your boy Endo. Blow it out the window, baby. You know what it is. The Chicken King. AKA. We're here to give a quick synopsis about the uh, Anthony Joshua, Andy Reese, two fights. The reason why I asked the Chicken King about this fight is because he's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy Reese is the first Mexican heavyweight champion. So I want to know, how do you feel about that accomplishment in the first fight? Are you talking about the very first fight? The very fight? first fight. How did you feel about that? First of all, you know where I had my bets on the first fight. Where was it? Joshua. Okay, me too. <laughs> let me I down. You let me down on this. A lot of, it, oh, man. A lot of you know people what? lie and say, oh, I was betting on that. Every time a fight ends, then that's when people come out and say what they were betting on. Bro, but if I, I don't need know, somebody to put it on film, on tape, put your predictions before the fight that we can see them. So after the fight, you can refer back to those and we don't got to take your word for it. You know what the crazy part is? If I would have known the odds, I would have been on Andy Reese just because of the odds. The first fight, I don't know if y'all guys know the reward, the, no, not the rewards, the uh, odds on the fight with 25 to 1. Let me put that in money terms. You put $10,000, you get a quarter of a million if he wins. A quarter, $250,000 off $10,000. That's how crazy the odds was on injuries winning that first fight. So, tell him about the song you wrote for injuries that he never heard, which he don't fucking deserve. But... <laughs> Well, tell him about the song, man. You know, I was trying to reach out on that Instagram and all that. He ain't, he ain't really, he ain't really, that's a good song, too. He uh, actually wrote a song for Andrew Reese to come out to on the rematch of Joshua. Yeah. Because the pride and the, the accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean. For the Mexican. Yeah, I mean, he was the first heavyweight champion Mexican the world, and, and, and he's a singer, so he wrote a special song for Andrews, and I will post it later when he when he gives me the link of the yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. I'll post it. But now Andrews don't need it because he got his ass whooped in the uh, rematch. What you think about the rematch? I think the rematch, honestly, I think Andrews. I want to say what I feel. When you get all this money and shit, you kind of forget. You kind of get up there in the clouds. And you should have stayed humble, bro. You should have kept practicing. You got all this money. Now you got trainers. I need to train every day. You forgot the grind. You forgot that hustle mode. You forgot that, bro, it ain't over yet. He was already counting victory just because he beat a really good boxer. Don't, don't let... It's a remember that in the boxing, it's a mental game. You ain't gonna fight with it. What, what's controlling my arms? My mind. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying. My feet work. You know what I'm saying? My heart. Huh? You know what I mean? Everybody, it's your mind, bro. Your mind wins fights. Your mind wins fights. So his mind wasn't in it. His mind wasn't in it, bro. He was up there thinking, oh, I got this jag. I'm doing this. Oh, I'm going to beat him on the second one. I beat him on the first one. You would have beat him, but somebody got it. Some, whoever told Joshua to, this is, why, oh, this is why I come in on Joshua. Bro, I thought Joshua was going to go in and match. Yeah. He caught that. that yeah. line. I hate to say it, Joshua. You my motherfucking boy. He and I love that, you to death. He got that box. Like you caught that Mac and we fucking saw it. You know what that box is? That that's Jack a, Mac. That's a female organ. Bro, I can't <laughs> believe it. He was doing, bro. It was technique. He won. You know, but you, how could you say you're a boxer and, 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 and you don't, oh, I mean, oh, oh. bro, that was war. I wanted to see war. Nah, I was, war. I was, now, look, look. They would go from Wilder. Wilder, if that would have been Wilder, let's say he lost. And that would have been Wilder. You think Wilder was going to... That shit was horrible. Wilder would have went. 
annihilated you. You would have went Tyson on your ass. He ain't gonna fucking what? You think I'm gonna pay all that money to see that? I ain't gonna lie. Come on. Although and although Anthony Joshua won after the rematch, I was very very disappointed. Very disappointed. I was disappointed in the I way know. that he won it because, like he said. There's no reason why Anthony Joshua couldn't apply himself more. Yeah. There's no reason why he couldn't beat the shit out of Ruiz. Yeah. And stop Ruiz. Ruiz and then show me that you earned that belt. Yeah, and then... Bro. Anthony Joshua constantly sticks his foot in his own mouth. If you listen very closely to the interviews, he always contradicting himself. He always saying shit that he can't back up. Your, ad, your mouth write a check that your ass can't cash. That's the problem. Let's let's go over it. What's the first thing he did to contradict himself? He says, Wilder, you give me $50 million, I'll sign tomorrow and fight you. Oh, shit. Wilder got smart. Wilder, like, if me and him fight, it's going to be $100 million in the fight for us to, to split up. Why would I take $15 million and leave another $85 million on the table for them to, to, to divide up. So Joshua was like, uh, it's not $100 million. And if we should be having it, and he's saying it's $100 million, then tell him give me $50 million, which is half of that $100 million that he says is in the fight, and I'll fight. Well, Wilder was smart enough to go find some investors, find some rich millionaires, billionaires, to put up 50 million. All right, Joshua, here go 50 million. Bring your ass over here to America so I can tax that ass. <laughs> what did he do? He come over here, I want to see proof of funds. I want to uh, I want to use my own announcers. Uh, I need to know where the venue, no, for 50 million, you don't need to know shit. Coming by. All you need to know is ring, check. Ring size. Ring, check. <laughs> Find the ring, get your check. All that other shit, you look stupid. So then they didn't want to do it. They want to fight and grant in and all this bullshit. So that's the first time Anthony Joshua put his own foot in his mouth. The second time Anthony Joshua put his foot in his mouth was the re the rematch between uh, Joshua versus Andrew Reeves. First of all, you went out there and got your ass knocked out and quit in the first fight. Let's let's not forget that. Let's not disguise that as something is not. You went out there and you got your ass knocked out, went down four times and quit. You spit out your own mouthpiece and then when the ropes said come to me, you wouldn't get off the goddamn ropes. You ain't want to get embarrassed. So okay, you quit. It is what it is. But then in the second fight, you start talking all that gangster shit again, and you couldn't back it up. You talking about, I'm going to punish Ruiz. Uh, Ruiz going to get it this time. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. Nah, he, he, he did a Mayweather on him. He, no, but he, he said, he was, he was, no, but he said out of his mouth, he's going to punish him and knock him the fuck out. Because he was too smart. He knew that if he did that... Toe to toe with Andy, well, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get it. Well, he's gonna say it then. What's the point of saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying don't. What I'm saying is, don't open your mouth and say things you can't back up. Well, that's a lot what of I'm saying. Can't do that. They just that's talk. that's that's a rule in boxing. That's a rule in the street life. That's a rule anywhere you go. Don't say things you can't back up. Don't say things that's not true. Don't say things you don't mean. What do you think would have happened if Andy Reese and Joshua would have went toe to toe? Joshua should have knocked Andrews the fuck out. Andrews showed up a fat, fucking nasty slob. I mean, he looked like the Hamburglar from McDonald's. You should have seen this <laughs> shit. Damn. How the fuck do you he show up, up looking like a fucking refrigerator? It looked like you put some boxing trunks That's what on I'm a saying. fucking refrigerator. Yeah, he, he was like it was Andrews. He totally disrespected boxing. The way he showed if he would have showed up in shape and he lost a fair No, I thought he was gonna be in shape. When I how saw you, all that training how, how do you go from broke? Ooh. You broke and you show up fat. Then you get money and you show up fatter. 
That makes no sense to me. It should have been. With the no money, money, you should have bought nutritionists. You should have bought dietitians. You should have bought chefs. You should have bought cardiologists. You should have did. You should have showed up and blew Joshua the fuck out the water. Because uh, you have the ability. Yeah. But did you do it? No. Nope. No. What was his priority is what we should say. What was your fucking priority? He's a Buster Douglas, a one-hit wonder. That's why the fight was the upset of the world. Because you weren't supposed to win shit. And you showed us in the rematch why you wasn't supposed to win shit. I wanted him to win, you know, low-key. Because I said, man, I got this song I made for him. <laughs> That was hard. So where do you rank Joshua in the heavyweight landscape right now? He now he has three, think, three of the belts back for out me, of the four. Wilder got one, now he got the three. Because he had three, and then Reese took the three. Now he I mean, took the three back. So he got three belts, Joshua got one. I mean, you know Wilder. how I felt about Joshua ever since I met I mean, you know, ever since you introduced me to him with these video clips, I'm like, God damn, he's a beast, didn't I say? I said, man, that mother lover ain't nothing to wreck with. But then I started seeing more of his fights. And, and when I saw that upset with Andy Reid, I said, what? Then I started really seeing that he can get touched. And now people know he can get touched. So guess what you got to do, Joshua? You got to switch your whole game. Everything you know about boxing... 360 that mug if you want to be the best of the best of the best of the best in the world. How can he be Wilder? Oh, man, you need you need to switch up your training. What do you need to do? <laughs> Listen, man. Fighting Wilder is like fighting a motherfucking dinosaur right now. <laughs> you have no way out of that one, bro. I mean, this dude's finna T-Rex your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he's stepping in the ring. I got money on Wilder all day long. But Wilder need to be careful too. Because sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you see what happened with Tito? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, bro. So don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. It's good to land in bomb squads, but it ain't all about them bomb squads because sometimes you got to box your way in there, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying, this is just my personal opinion. Okay, I love so, Wilder. So, I love so Wilder knocks out Fury, then him and Joshua fight for the undisputed. Oh man, Wilder all day long. All day long. All day long. Okay. So we can, I'll, balls to the wall. I'm gonna, Bomb squad. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with that. Thank you. Cause I'm I gonna, finna fuck you up. I'm gonna agree with that. So, Wilder is number one heavyweight in my eyes. Uh, a lineal champion don't mean shit in my eyes. And, and Look at his record! And Joshua, i finally given up on English fighters. Britain, London, UK, all you English, I call them China Chin Brits. Y'all all China Chin Brits. I've, I've kind of went back in my head and I looked at everybody who come from over there and they're all China chins. Like, China, you know, is just that precious glass that you can break so easily, but it costs a lot. That's why I call them China chin Brits, the British fighters, because one time I low-key heard Joshua say some shit about Americans, like, yeah, you Americans all... Y'all all come in here talking tough, but y'all never do nothing. Because he was knocking them all out. So he was talking all that. Oh, so, he ain't met Wilder yet. Yeah, I wish yeah, I'd have known so that. He been, he I can't believe he talking shit about we, we, we kept that. That's uh, crazy. We, we kept, that's what you did, and you ain't bought that life. No, you not bought that life. Because if you look closely in that last fight with Andrew Rees, he hit your ass one time, and you got glassy out again. You was... <laughs> Oh shit, let me grab. Listen, I'm tired of you fucking British fighters. I'm sorry, but every time I look at it, the facts don't lie. All of y'all are China Chin Brits. And Damn. I'm going to stop jumping on the bandwagon. I jumped on Anthony Yard. What do you do? He got knocked out by a fucking jab. Oh, I lost money on that fight. We Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Two D! Dude, nah, dude. nah, that's nah, my nigga, nah. man. That's nah, nah, nah. I'm jumping oh, off the boat. God damn it! I'm jumping off the boat. 
I mean, look at them all. Bruno. Yeah, the best one was Lennox, and how did he lose? He got knocked the fuck out twice. They are China Chin Brits, man. Every Brit that come from over there, they all get their ass whooped. I mean, when the shit, they not, they not warriors like Holyfield. I don't know any of them. Maybe, maybe Chris Eubanks Senior. Maybe, maybe he the only one. Maybe. What about Uzi? Who? Uzi. Uzi. Uzi haven't been tested yet. I mean, and guess what they're gonna. Eddie Hearns is a fucking joke. Let me put that out there too. Damn! Eddie Hearns is a fucking joke. Oh man, you all his shows are fucking joke. All his fighters are fucking jokes. And I, we're gonna expose this to the world. I'm gonna expose it to the world. I'm gonna start putting my material together and showing y'all exactly the truth behind these shows, these promotions, and these fighters. That fight in Saudi Arabia was a bust. It was absolute bullshit. Besides the few undercard fights that were overmatched, it was all one round knockouts. And then when you get to the, uh, you got to the uh, uh, Michael Hunter, I think they got a draw or something, him and uh, Povetkin. That was horrible. And then Dylan White, fat ass, keep talking. Why do Dylan White keep calling Wilder out? You're going to get knocked the fuck out. You are a China Chin Brit. How <laughs> the fuck do... Look at you, you fought Joseph Parker. What happened in 12 rounds? You got fucking dropped. What happened when you fought Oscar Reeves? You got fucking dropped. What happened when you fought Anthony Joshua? You got knocked the fuck out. So what the fuck do you think going to happen when you fight Wilder? Hmm. Curious minds want to know. You're going to get knocked the fuck out. You're going to get knocked the fuck out. Duh. So all this Dylan White, all this Brixton, all you fucking English fighters are nothing. Bomb squad. That was a good one. And this is not so strong boxing.